Hello everyone, my name is Joelle and welcome to this 10 minute sequence for scoliosis and back pain. For some of our poses today where we'll be seated, you may want a chair, hello, or you can stay seated on the floor, however you're most comfortable. But we'll start now by coming into a child's pose. You can bring the knees about as wide as your yoga mat. And we're going to extend the arms forward, but instead of coming straight down the center like we usually do in child's pose, bring both hands over towards the right side of the mat, and maybe even to the right off of the mat. And you can either just reach both arms out, or you might even place the left hand on top of the right hand, and kind of interlace the fingers there, just to get a nice stretch through that left side of the body particularly through the spine and probably into the lower left side of the back as well. And now we can tiptoe the fingers over and we'll do the same thing to the left. So again, either reaching both arms out or maybe placing that right hand on top of the left. And throughout these 10 minutes, do make sure to never push into pain. That's particularly true when we're suffering from something like scoliosis. So in mild cases of scoliosis, it can be treated very effectively with specific stretches and exercises. But of course, if you do have a more severe condition, then I would always recommend speaking to a doctor or a physical therapist about your specific case and which moves or stretches might be best for your specific situation. All right, and then we can come back to center. We'll just walk the fingertips back to bring ourselves back up. And now we'll lift ourselves up into an all fours position, shoulders above hands, hips above knees. And we're just gonna do a few rounds of cat cows here. So as we inhale, we can arch the spine, maybe bring the gaze up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, press the middle of your back up towards the sky as you push away from the floor. We're just rounding and arching the back a couple of times. And now we're going to come back to center and we're gonna arch the back this time to the left and right. So we're trying to bring our left hip and left shoulder close to one another and then our right shoulder and right hip closer to each other. So we're just kind of wagging our tails back and forth here. We'll just go at your own pace. Notice how you feel. So depending on the curvature of the spine, this might feel very different from one side to another. And now let's release that motion. You can raise the right arm straight forwards, set it back down and then lift the left arm. And then you can keep going with that, either just raising the arm or you might add the opposite leg. So left arm and right leg reach in opposition. And then right arm and left leg reaching away from each other. And again, just keep going with that motion, noticing how it feels, noticing where you're feeling this. Keep a little bit of engagement in the abs to make sure the movement's being initiated from the back. And then we can set ourselves down and we'll come to seated. So this is where that chair might come in handy for the next couple of moves. Let's raise the arms up towards the sky and then we'll twist to the right as we bring them back down. And then we can come back up to center and twist over to the left this time. So just keep going with that. So we're reaching up and then to one side and then up again, sitting tall and then over to the other side. So your choice if you go fast or slow here and whether you're on the floor or sitting on a chair, just remember to keep those abs switched on and let the back kind of enjoy the motion. And if it feels really good, you might also just hold it to one side a little bit longer. A few seconds, a few breaths, you might even close the eyes. And then let's reach up again. And it's up to you how far you twist over, whether it's just a couple of inches or all the way. 
beautiful. Now we'll stay seated here, again, either on a chair or on the floor. Interlace the fingers in front of the chest, and we're going to punch forward as we bring our chin towards the chest. So we're really looking to dome the upper back here. This was actually a, a move in my upper back pain video, which some of you may already have tried, and if not, I'll link it down below. I always link a few related videos in the in the description box below below a sequence, and that's one of my favorites. Great, and then we'll interlace the fingers this time behind the back and pull the hands away from the body. So you're pulling down and away, kind of in a diagonal motion from the shoulders. And if it feels all right on the neck, you might choose to look up or you could keep the gaze straight ahead. So basically the reverse motion of the stretch that we just did. Just giving our spine a chance to move in all different types of directions here. And now if you've got the chair, you can set it to the side for now, and we're just going to come onto our right side. So leaning on our right elbow here, pressing the right shoulder down, so keeping it away from the right ear. And you could either stay right there on the elbow, or you might tiptoe the right hand a little bit forwards in a diagonal and come up onto the palm. And this is one of those stretches I always find feels a lot different than I might expect just by looking at it. It can be very intense. So again, depending on the severity of the scoliosis and the, the angle of the curvature of the spine, this might be really, really tricky for some of us. So you might have to shift around until you find a stretch that feels right for you. And that's always what all of us should be doing anyway. And then, as you can see, we're switching sides here, so we're coming over onto the left. And we can stay right here on the elbow, just enjoying the stretch. Again, maybe closing the eyes. Coming back to our breath, sending the breath into the spine. I hope that all of these moves so far already and you might choose to come up onto the palm now if you if you'd like to that all of these moves today have helped show you just how many things our spines actually do for us how many directions they can move in twisting turning arching rounding so we're very lucky to be able to do all of these things and we should take good care of our spines, which is exactly what you're doing today, so good on you. And now let's come down onto our backs. And we're going to lift the knees up, so legs at 90 degrees, and press your hands into your knees. So what you're doing here is pressing your knees into your hands and you're resisting that motion, keeping the abs engaged. This should be pretty tough right here. We're just holding this for a couple breaths, and we're done. So ab engagement is always great to kind of switch on for back pain. And now let's just do some pelvis rocks. So we're just tilting the pelvis up as we squeeze the glutes, and then pressing the hips back down to the floor. And again, a little bit of engagement in the abs is a good idea here. So we're not really bridging up all the way like we have done in some of my other videos. We're just kind of bringing a little bit of life to the lower back. And now let's bring the arms out to a T. And we're going to drop both knees over to the right for a laying spinal twist. And you could keep the gaze upwards or maybe look over the left shoulder. You might bring the right hand on top of the knees just to give them a little bit of extra weight. I do also want to take this opportunity to thank Terry Sims for requesting a scoliosis video. She did so by commenting on my sequence, my supine sequence for bursitis and hip pain. So if there are any other sequences you'd like me to work on and make videos on, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to help out. And we can switch sides. We'll bring both knees over towards the left now, extending the right arm out from the shoulder and maybe bringing the gaze to the right as well. We're all 
almost done here for today, so do remember that 10 minutes a day, even if that's sometimes all we've got, can really make a difference in our bodies and minds. And I hope that when you're done with this video, you will hit the like button if you enjoyed this sequence, and also subscribe to my channel for two free videos every week. It really, really helps me out. And we can come back to center. And you can stay on your back as long as you'd like. Get comfortable. Thank yourself for your efforts today. And I thank you too. And hope to see you again soon. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.